All right, so several of you have asked, how do I make a quick bug catcher to use with my kids that will keep them safe while being around ants and other things that might be bitey and introduce a little bit of adventure into making uh, or exploring the world of insects. All right, so I'm gonna just show you just real quickly. The materials you need are a pair of scissors, two bendy straws, the more colorful for kids, the better, right? And straight straws don't work nearly as well. So if you have bendy straws, those will work really well. You need some gauze, you need tape, and you need a container. And this container should be, you know, maybe a two inch deep container. You don't want it too shallow because you won't be able to hold very many insects or view them very easily. And you don't want it too deep either because otherwise kids have a hard time kind of manipulating it. I find that the containers that come from um, food delivery uh, companies uh, or prepared meal kit co companies rather like HelloFresh or Gobble or any of those folks they work really well because they're about the right depth but just to make sure um, you should have a container that screws off very easily because once you catch things in this container you'll want to be able to let them go back safely and you don't want something overly complicated so you want a fairly easy uh, container so the next thing you need to do is you need to drill one hole here and one hole here for the straws. I find that a drill bit of about one fourth of an inch works well uh, when you're drilling. Uh, make sure to read all the directions and be as safe as you can. Keep your hand away from the drill and the drill bit. Uh, you know the drill. Um, so be safe while you're drilling. And I'm going to go ahead and drill two holes here and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I drilled the two holes in the top of the container. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bendy straws and what you wanna do is take the short end of the bendy straw and you wanna put it through these holes here, just like that. And on the other side, just like this. And if it doesn't go through easily, you can always just kind of pinch it together a little bit like that and poke it through to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna unscrew this and pull this through because you kind of want it in there. There we go. And make sure both holes are wide open like that so air travels through here real easily. Okay, the next step is to put a piece of gauze over one of the straws, just one. Because one straw is gonna be used to suck on, to create air flow and air pressure in the container and you want to be sucking on that one which has the gauze on it because you don't want to be sucking up insects so the gauze is going to protect your child and yourself as you're using this bug catcher from sucking up insects so you want a piece of gauze over one end this other straw is going to be used to point while you suck on the yellow straw in this case you point the other straw towards the insect that you want to suck into the container so let me go ahead and put on the gauze and then put this down here. And then my assistant is going to uh, show you how this is done in the field. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, I just put a small piece of gauze um, over one side of the straw and the side of the straw that has a gauze is the side that I'm gonna suck on as I'm trying to point at the uh, insect with the other straw. So I'm just gonna put this back together now we're going to go out in the field and try to catch some insects. Now I have two beetles and one ant. This is Diego using his special bug catcher in the wilds of Houston, Texas. Can you show me your find, young man? What did you find? Two ants and a beetle. Two ants and a beetle. How amazing. I mean, two ants and two beetles. Two ants and two beetles.